Now, our boy Bernoulli, sitting around in the, you know, the 1800s or 1700s, I don't know when he thought this up, but sitting around with nothing to do but smell his own butt crack, um, he was like, you know, if we, if we take a tube, right, and we, we put a little restriction in it, what I notice is that the same mass of air coming in here has to exit here, right? It can't, uh, there ain't no portal in here to do weird things. So he recognized that the velocity as this air is moving through this little restriction, the velocity in this restriction has to go up. What he also recognizes is as that velocity goes up, the pressure goes down. Now you might be looking at this going, we're talking about airplanes. Why is he drawing tubes with restrictions and talking about French people, Bernoulli and all this jazz? Well, let's take a look at this picture for a second. Let's, let's erase. Let's erase this. Let's erase this. Let's erase all of this up here. And then, then you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna erase this. We're gonna erase this. We're gonna, we're gonna connect the bottom. The hell does that look like? That looks like a wing to me. So in our examples, the wing is our restriction and the mass of air is just the relative wind.